What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gavin. Welcome to the next episode of the Pokemon uh, Red Rescue Team. I almost forgot what game we're playing here. Uh, Red Rescue Team Let's Play here on the channel. If you missed last episode, we have been tasked with ascending Mount Thunder, looking for our stolen, not friend really, just stole a stolen kidnapped Pokemon, Shiftry, um, who's been stolen by Zapdos. Now, we're a Squirtle, so we're going to need a little bit of help. So first things first, let's run to the store. I think I already checked on like this day, uh, but let me check, see if there's any Reviver Suits here. Of course there's not. Um, so do I have anybody already recruited that could help with this? I did um, run through a couple times and did I did some missions. Um, just to, you know, get some, so, you know, do a little bit of grinding. Because the, the level jump is pretty extreme uh, between, um, like, in, in this, from dungeon to dungeon, the level jumps quite a lot. So let's check out. We have an Oddish. I believe you are our Magnemite. You are Sudowoodo. Fozzie. What is Fozzie? It's a dog. Hound Hour. That's a Hound Hour. Regis is a Tyrogue, I think. And Sleuth is a slack off. So none of those really help us. Um, there's one Pokemon in particular that I would very much like to recruit in Mount Thunder. Um, let's, okay, let's check the rest. Oh, I did I did uh, check and see the TMs um, that the shop was offering. So let's check out the new moves. Somebody in the comments, and I'm totally blanking on who, but they comment in every video, and I super, super appreciate you. Um... Because viewer interaction is much more important than a lot of other things on YouTube. So if you comment in the video, you're a great person. I appreciate you. But somebody told me to look out for the track TM because it's super broken, apparently. Um, and they happen to have it. So um, I, I taught it to myself, to my Squirtle, um, along with Bubble. So I, I got rid of... What did I get rid of? Tail Whip. So I unlinked Tail Whip and Secret Power and taught myself a track over Tail Whip. And then Psy... I uh, actually learned Metal Claw. I don't remember if I talked about that. I think it learned it a couple episodes ago, at like level 13, uh, when it learns Metal Claw and Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, but I, also, I got the team for Brick Break as well, and I figure, you know, it's it's coverage. Um, it, we're never going to use Growl. Growl's not useful in this game. Um, so just a couple, you know, extra things. Hopefully, we can do some good work in here. Um, this is going to be tough, though. Just because I am a water type. This is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder. Hashtag bars. Is Alakazam's team already on their way? Zapdos. It sounds very tough. Ur, I'm shaking. Oh, also, sorry. I have my ceiling fan on. Hopefully you can't hear it. Um, but if you can, I do apologize. And I'm skipping text. Whoops. Um, basically, he's like, oh, we can do it, Gavin. I promise. Okay. Where are you? Not you. Definitely not you. Okay, you. I know you have water absorb. So I think I'm going to set Secret Power for now. Why am I going up against Water-type by myself? Water-type. Grass-type. Okay, so like I said, there's one Pokemon in particular that I need, literally need to recruit before we take on Zapdos. Otherwise, I will for sure lose. It's not a Weedle. Or a Nidoran. Or what was the first thing? Cacnea. It's not a Cacnea. I will recruit you, though. Yes. Because, what was it, last episode? I recruited one and it died. Um, actually, do I want you right now? Because you're just going to eat up my Reviver Seeds, I feel like. No, I'm, I'm sorry to totally psych you out, Weedle. Um, farewell. <laughs> you are not the Pokemon that I want. Um, so I know you seem disappointed and left. We'll get another Weedle, I promise. So, is, okay, is this Pokemon on this floor? Yes, it's Electrike, FYI. So, Electrike has the ability um, Lightning Rod, which in this game is absolutely... Wait, 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 wait. So I used Ember, Poison Point Struck. I knew Poison Point was obviously a thing in this game, but, like, off of Ember? 
I'm confused. All right, well, I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to grab my uh, strategy guide, which is over there out of reach, um, just to see what floor is Electrax actually on before I end up missing it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so... Okay, so what does the official guide from Nintendo Power have to say about Mount Thunder? Um, da, 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 da. Where are we? Nope. Nope. Too far. Okay, so we are looking for Electrike. Electrike is available from floor 1 until floor... Four is the last floor we can find it on. So we need to recruit an electric before we get to the fourth floor. Um, so let's see what the guide has to say for advice. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, this mission isn't for beginners. I'm trying to find a good place to put my the book so it's not like in front of my uh, in front of my mic obstructing my speaking. Okay. This mission isn't for beginners. You'll have to face legendary Zapdos to scale Mount, or if you scale Mount Thunder. Uh, let's see. Job description: Follow Zapdos to Mount Thunder and free Shift Reef from its clutches. Zapdos is a level twenty-five Pokemon with three hundred hit points. Bro. Uh, so you would be wise to buff up your team by doing rescue jobs from the bulletin board until you've risen to at least level fifteen. Okay, we're yeah, we're there. We're close. Or we're to sixteen. I think Charmander is also sixteen. Uh, if possible, try to recruit ground-type Pokemon like Geodude and Mount Steel. Note that this requires them... Okay, we already have all the friend areas, so it's not a problem. Um, inside the dungeon. This dungeon is rife with electric-type Pokemon, many of which uh, use attacks that paralyze their foes. If you see Beedrill, destroy it from a distance. Its fury attack can be instantly fatal if it hits five times in succession. Bring an escape orb and use it if you get in over your head or find a rare TM you don't want to lose. Um, so yes, that's actually true. Fury Attack and any multi-hit moves are actually broken in this game. So Beedrill is a massive threat. Um, let's see, items to look for. Rare but spectacular TMs like Dig, Toxic, Giga Drain, Bullet Seed, and Shadow Ball are, and uh, Aerial Ace are the highlight of this dungeon. You can also find Gold Ribbons, which can be sold for $2,000. And Link Boxes that let you link moves on the go. Anything else? No. Mm. Um, and this this dungeon actually splits into two the, um, to give you like a rest point before Zapdos. Um, let's see, so it's Mount Thunder and then Mount Thunder Peak. Uh, preparation for Mount Thunder Peak is after completing the tenth floor of Mount Thunder, you'll have the opportunity to save at the Kangaskhan statue. Your HP and PP will be refilled once you uh, enter the peak, which features only two floors of combat before you reach Zapdos's perch. Uh, gather inside the dungeon. Gather all the gummies you can on the first two floors of the dungeon. Then heal up and equip your best held items, uh, bands, and orange berries before you take a second staircase. Uh, let's see. Okay, that seems pretty much it. So, with that, so okay, so that that got I went a little in too deep there, um, because I was just looking for how long we could find. Oh God, find electric for. And it turns out, only until floor four. So, a lot of extra reading. Spent like five minutes on that one. I didn't really mean to, but that's okay. So when we find the stairs on uh, floor four, we need to just chill there for a little while until we recruit an Electrike. Okay. What was that? I think that was a Pidgeotto. I need a ran. So I think right here we can find Nidoran, Cacnea, Electrike, and Pidgeotto? I will take you. Yes, I will, I will give you a nickname. Um, what's a good nickname for a Nidoking? Um, I'm going to be LeBron. Because he's the king. Is the B in LeBron capitalized? No. Wow, that was actually a really dumb question. Never mind. So I'm used to like... Uh, so if you did not know, I speak French. Um, and a lot of like French last names start with Le. And 
Um, no, Pajil, get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, start, start with L. And uh, after L, the next letter is capitalized. Are we really? Oh yeah, Weedle's here too. I don't know why I threw a rock. Um, okay, please. Electrike, I need you. I literally will not be able to be Zapdos without an Electrike. Okay, you don't use Leer. Leer's bad. I wonder if I can use Attract on Zapdos. I'm not sure. What's my belly at? 65. Alright, I should probably move. Um, cause if you, like, I'm holding A and B, um, which makes you wait. It basically skips your turn. Instead of, you know, moving or attacking or anything like that. Uh, if you hold A and B at the same time, it basically just skips your turn. Um, which still eats up your, like, belly count. So, like, right now it's at 61. Um, alright, oh, well, here's the stairs. So, like, like I said, your PP does get refilled right here, or like at some point in this, in this dungeon. I almost, I almost just call it a gym. Um, so, Electrike, I literally need you. No, Pidgeotto, get out. So, your recruiting an Electrike will be kind of dangerous, though, because I'll have to fight it myself, basically. Because, um, you know, if somebody else lands the final blow, I will not be able to recruit it. Do I have apples? I'm sure I do. Alright, we're playing the weight game here. Eventually, um, it'll force you to leave. Like, you, you're not allowed to just hang out on a floor indefinitely for some reason i don't know why i mean i'm sure i i do know why it's just to like speed up the game An electric. hello sir love me okay that one was kind of a bust we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting Nope, not you, Cacnea. I don't care about you. Like, sure, you're an electric resist, but I'm positive that Zapdos will have pack. Weedle, you are also not what I want to see. I might do some... No, oh, I didn't mean to water gun. Jesus. Um, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm going to do some adventuring. See if there's another sleeping electric somewhere. No, there's sleeping Weedle. But I don't want you. So I might have to let Charmander do a lot of the fighting for the rest because I feel like I'm going through my PP super quickly. I know I've got a max elixir, but I'd rather save that if I could, if I can. There's an electric. Hello, friend. Love me. I might have to just kind of go through this dungeon again and again until I recruit an electric. Oh, thank you. I forgot you were holding an apple. I've definitely got its friend area, right? Like... What level is Nidoran? Because I know, I don't think you're allowed to recruit Pokemon that are below your level. Okay, Nidoran's level 12. So I really don't think that these Electric would be, like, above level 16. You know what, Charmander? You can, you can handle this thing. All right, let's do some more exploring. Thank you. Trimander, if you amber this thing, I'm going to kill... Mm. 
Should have seen that coming. Yeah, how did I not see that coming? Uh, all right. So hopefully I'll actually get a chance to um, show you what happens if you st hang out on a floor for too long. Because it will force you to leave. Um, well, I mean, not really force you to leave, but it will kill you if you don't leave. All right, Nidoran, um, you, can, you can die. I already have one of you. Please, Electrike, I'm literally begging you. So, if you let this go on for too long, it will force, it will kill you. No Reviver Seeds, no anything. It will literally just kill you and send you out of the dungeon. Um, so, I feel like we're going to have to head out pretty quick. Yeah, I need to leave or else it's going to kill me. <laughs> All right. So I need to recruit an Electrike on this floor. If not, we'll just keep going through the dungeon until we get to floor 10 and then turn back. And if that's the case, then um, I'll probably just cut. No, Nidoran, I don't want you. Um, I'll probably just cut until I successfully recruit an Electrike. Because like I said... Charmander, I swear to God. No, okay, you do not do anything. Please. Uh, love me. Please. Weedle, please just go away. Thanks, Nidoran. Jeez, I'm getting hungry already. Okay. So I'll keep exploring, just... Oh, I don't even have you able to use moves. Um... Yeah, I'll keep exploring until it makes me leave again, and then if it does make me leave, I will go ahead and just cut until, um, yeah, I'll just cut until, um, it may, until I finally recruit an electric. But I'm guessing by that point we'll be, like, level 20 just because we'll be grinding so much. Please. Please, electric, I am literally begging you. Wait, how are you only level 14? If I'm level 16, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Oh, my belly's empty. Fluff! Please leave me alone. All right, LeBron, I'm going to check your, your IQ. Only use moves. Do not use your basic attack. And of course I get poison. Uh... Please, Electric, I literally need you. Please. Yeah, I don't think this happened, Chief. Alright. So, I've done all I can do. I will see you guys when we recruit an electric. Oh my god, that's an electabuzz.
Love me. Please. Oh my god. Electric really that hard to recruit? It's really not that hard to recruit. Are you fucking kidding me, Charmander? You know what? I'm already level 18. I'm just gonna go for it and go to fight Zapdos right now and just YOLO it and see what happens. Because we're all, like I said, like, I've already gained two levels just doing this. And it recommends being level 15. I'm level 18. Charmander's level 16 still, I think. So, you know what? A lot of wasted effort. But, as the children say, it really do be like that sometimes. So, we're just going for it. I don't know why I threw that rock. Oh, I'm, I'm tilted. 
right now, honestly, because I've literally never had this much trouble recruiting uh, an electric before. Literally never. And this has been my strat for as long as I can remember. Literally since, like, I think I recruited one by accident the first time I ever played this game and was like, wow, that made this fight super easy. Then any time that I replay this game, or um, Explorers of Sky um, has a really similar uh, dungeon where it's, like, full of electric types. And, not Explorers of Sky, Explorers of Time and Darkness. Because um, in Explorers of Sky, you can't uh, actually, is it? Oh, no, it is. It's Explorers of Sky, but not Explorers of Time and Darkness. Um, has a dungeon where um, you can recruit Electric. Actually, is it both of them? I want to say it's both of them. Where you can recruit an Electric or some other Pokemon that has Lightning Rod. Um, but, the you know, the boss at the end is an Electric type. And it's like a sort of like a horde battle where you're fighting like 10 enemies at a time. And um, it's super, super clutch to have a lightning rod Pokemon on your team because if they're all spamming like spark and uh, or like thundershock then they take no damage from it and you don't get hit by it so it's super super clutch to have but like I said if we're already gonna be a little over leveled for this um, I might not even need it so we'll see how it goes if I can recruit this Gligar or like one of these Gligar that'd be neat too but I feel like Gligar is super unlikely to to uh to join us so like there are certain uh held items that you um that like boost your recruitment chance and a lot of them a lot of pokemon like you can't recruit without it um like for instance like kecleon so we haven't come across one yet but in some dungeons there's um like mini kecleon shops um that sell like useful things like that's how that's the one of the is it the only way it's the only way that i know of because i don't think you can just find them randomly uh to get like evolution stones um and so the the, the way to recruit keklan is really complex basically you need to steal from the shop so that's the only way to be able to fight a keklan they need to be like level 90 holding like one of those items that lets you um makes it easier to to recruit and even then there's only like a five percent chance of it happening and it's not like it's just one kecleon it's an entire like mob of kecleon that just kind of show up i'm pretty sure like every pokemon on the floor gets turned into a kecleon and then um i'm just gonna eat the apple yeah, like, every Pokemon on the floor gets turned into a Kecleon, and Kecleon is broken. So, like, that's why I say, like, you have to be level 90, or else you're gonna get absolutely screwed by Kecleon. <laughs> like, those words have never been said outside of Mystery Dungeon, but Kecleon's actually, like... Like, they buff it so much. Like, it's gotta be, like, level 80 when you fight it. Which is crazy. So, that... I've never recruited one. That's gonna be a goal... At some point on this save file probably not like what in this let's play because i don't think we'll get to that high of a level um we might if it'll it'll you know it'll depend on depend on how the game goes but um if we get to a point where we can recruit a uh a kecleon that actually be super dope to get that on camera because i've never done that before Alright, stairs, where are you? We're almost there. So I did also recruit a couple Pokemon. I did rec I recruited a Growlithe. I recruited a um Cacnea. I think I recruited everything that is like easy to recruit in here. Except for um obviously Electric. Let's go. So, I mean, at least we have an immunity on the team. 
I'm gonna give it a nickname. I will. So you are Gligar. Hmm. I'm gonna name you Ash after my sister. Cause my sister, she's not super into horoscopes, but she used to be. And uh, so my sister is a Scorpio. So she's and she used to be super into horoscopes and things like that. So here's to you, Ash. She just had a baby, and she's heckin' adorable. Um. So since we're here, I'm gonna save. Uh, we get a fresh round of PP and health and all that good stuff. How many revivers do I have? Uh, two. Okay, I have four. Lots of max elixirs. Um, so hopefully we can find some reviver seeds. I don't think they're super common here, but we can at least keep an eye out. This music's out of this world. Oh, I'm getting nervous. So here's where I need to save my bubbles. Because, um, oh, something else I did off screen was uh, I had an item in my in my bag just called the Ginseng, which is uh, a Mystery Dungeon exclusive item. Like you, it's not like a normal item in the games. Um, or in, like, normal games. So what it does is it makes it, like, plus one, whatever move you have set at the time. It basically just powers it up. So bubble plus one is, you know, stronger than bubble. Alright, let's make sure. Um, alright. Ash, what moves do you know? That'll do. That's actually decent. Because if you use sand attack on it and makes, make it so you, it can't hit us, and then you can poison it, that'd be sweet. This is the summit. This is going to be a long episode. Hey, Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry. Come out. <laughs> I warned you. I have no mercy for meddlers. Oh, please don't do this. Not scared. You, you don't frighten me. Oh, Charmander, why? I forgot that that's how this battle starts. Hey, Zapdos, release Shiftry. We're a Pokemon rescue team. You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer. To my great and righteous fury. So, normally, we start equidistant from Zapdos. So, it's not going to target down any one of us. But that's not the case here, because uh, because you wanted to be a hero. Um, we'll set you to go after foes, otherwise you're going to be stuck in the back behind me. Alright, is Bubble set? No. Do I want to risk using a track here? I don't think so. Oh, you have pressure. That's right. Fluff. Are you not going to go after foes here, Gligar? Or is that... Did I not set you to that? Was it, was it Psy that I set to that? No. What are you doing, Ash? I'm so confused. I mean, we seem to be doing pretty well. We're getting off big damage. Okay. Wow. What? What is going on? <sighs> Whoa. You want more? I'll take you on. Enough. That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shifri back. You kids. You've impressed me. But. Things won't be this easy next time. I will go all out next time, so you'd best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills. Look, there's Shifri. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Somehow, I am. I'm glad you're safe. But that was an eye-opener. Driving off Zap that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Squirtle. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps. 
You aren't a Pokemon, are you? Wow, how can you tell that? But you're right, Gavin isn't a Pokemon. Gavin's a human. What? A human? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? Gavin doesn't understand m very much either. Gavin woke up... Uh, Gavin woke up one morning here as a Pokemon. And doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh, wait. Lombard said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, could you figure out why Gavin became a Pokemon? No. I cannot determine that. Oh, I thought you would know. However, there is a way of unveiling the truth. Oh, really? How? Make way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you'll find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zapdos is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zap... Er, not Zapdos, Zatu. Gavin, let's go. Off to the Hill of the Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's be quick. Shiftry, you too. Let's hurry back. Eh, uh, yeah. I guess we should. Gavin? Don't just stand there. Let's go home. God, Tyranitar's model looks so cool. Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me, but it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. And on that little cliffhanger, we're going to end off this episode. I've been recording for like over an hour just for this episode, so I'm pretty sure this episode's going to end up being like 40 minutes long, but that's okay. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at CoolTrainerGab. Check out our second channel, Palette University, which focuses mainly on Pokemon Science, Pokemon Theories, etc. And until next time, smile you later. Thank you.